This is radio TV phono nut and the box on top is just parts. The box on the bottom is supposed to be a new old stock mid 60's Magnavox AM clock radio and I'm already worried about this. It looks like all they did was wrap the original box in brown paper and send it on its way and I already thought I heard something rattling around as the is the is the post lady handed it to me. So let's open it up and see if this survived or is this something that I'm going to have to use my buyer protection privileges on. And yep, that's exactly what they did. The magnificent Magnavox, truly the finest and your best buy on any basis of comparison. The Magnavox Company, Fort Wayne, Indiana. this was really stupid what they should have done was uh, pack this box inside of another box see now I'm having to carefully rip the tape off of this box to keep from screwing this box up Alright, let me get this off of here. Alright, here it is. And here's the paperwork. Magnavox proudly presents the new Carousel and Mardi Gras full feature clock radios operating instructions. And there we go. Yeah, this smells brand new. The instruction book does anyway. Here is the uh, Magnavox instrument installation record card, which is an old computerized punch card. And I think that's all that's in there. Let's get it out and see if it survived. Cord looks like it's factory wrapped. And here's another piece of paper in the box couple more punch cards. What is this? Factory inspection card. Magnavox warranty registration. And here we are. Very nice and clean looking. I hear something rattling around inside. Sounds like a washer or some kind of retainer clip or something. Only damage I see to the case are these marks right here where it looks like possibly the power cord or the styrofoam uh, sides came in contact with this and caused some damage. I've seen that before on this type of plastic. And of course this is our switched appliance outlet where uh, you can set it to turn the, your coffee pot on and off in the morning. with new old stock that doesn't mean you're still not going to have problems as you can tell the filter capacitor is bad and it appears the clock is dead which is no surprise I know several years ago me and some friends cleaned out a, a TV shop slash dealership it never threw anything away, and they had all kinds of new old stock stuff there. Some of it we got, and the biggest thing, obviously, the stuff has going for it is it's usually in nice cosmetic shape, but it still needs a full electronic restoration, just like something that's been in use for 50 or 60 years. In fact, some of the stuff we dug up actually had more wrong with it than some of the stuff that uh, we find that's been in use for 50 or 60 years. So, you know, now we got to open this up and do a, a routine service job on this. And we're already running into problems here. This styrene plastic doesn't age well, especially where screws are involved. This one here is just spinning around. This one here is so tight that I can't even get it out. 
So this is almost going to be one of those radios that's going to go back in the box and just uh, be a non, non-functioning display piece. Because after all, I have uh, I have radios that work, and you can. Uh, it's only original once, so uh, I'm just about ready just to put it back in the box and let it go. And it's obvious this side, the stud, is broken loose from the plastic. This side over here is so tight that I can't even get it out, so I don't know what to do here. And this is the kind of crap that makes me want to take the radio and sling it across the backyard. The stuff that ought to be oh so simple is getting two screws out. Turns out to be a act of friggin' Congress. Alright, it finally came apart, but the stud broke. Okay, we're apart, and this is what a brand new, uh, unused radio chassis looks like. Not a speck of dust anywhere, no discolored parts, no tubes that's on their last leg. All that I can tell is wrong is this capacitor right here, and I think this radio's from, well, the tubes are date-coded 65, so this is probably from 65 or 66. If you'll notice here, there's a space on the board for an extra tube socket and another uh, transformer and some more components. That's because there was a version of this radio made that had a three-gain capacitor and a tuned RF stage. I was hoping this one would be that radio, but as you can tell, that's not the case. I'll say one thing about this radio. At least the screws that hold it together screw into metal there. Most of these the screws uh, screw directly into the plastic and it usually cracks around here so I can still, I should be able to get this back together of course the plastic studs on the inside of the back will be cracked and messed up but there's not a whole lot I can do about that short of JB welding them back together but at least that will be on the inside where nobody will see it Alright, here we are with new filter capacitors, and it appears to be working. Hey, you've got crap. Damn power cord. Okay, that's so, better. He's going to be in a flow, you know. He's healthy, he's healthy, and he's going to play. Right. You know, and, and, and you can hear it in their voice, which will play... Tuning capacitors dirty. Everybody, be good. First chance to leave. Alright, I'm going to let it play a while, stream it and if it doesn't ER mess up, live, where you can stream then we're going to call it done. Three. Yeah, we've been on about an hour, and nothing haywire has taken place, so I'll say that pretty much ought to take care of it. Now I got the front off, trying to get this alarm hand to stay in place, and I'm having no luck. And I'm really, I'm really to the point of not worrying about the clock. This is new old stock. This is historical purposes only. This is not really something you'd use. And I start taking all these hands off. It'll be just my luck. Something will bend. Something will break. Something won't go back right. So we're just going to leave it as it is. I've got plenty of other radios. It's got good clocks in them that I can wake up by. And now I've got to deal with this screw here. I know why it won't move. It's in here crooked. It spins, but it won't go any further, and I've tried the soldering iron technique. Still not having any luck, so this thing may just go back together, and the two bottom screws and the screws on the AC outlet will be what holds this thing together. I said I'm not going to risk beating and banging on this thing and possibly cracking the case. This thing survived for 50-some-odd years without it getting busted, and I don't want it to get busted now. Alright, we're back together as much as it's going to be put back together. Learn about the many events. Link then sealed closed. 
One with JB Weld epoxy adhesive. The other with ordinary glue. The JB Weld door is holding strong, but uh oh, the animals are pushing against the door held by ordinary. Funny, we hear a commercial for JB Weld when I have these pieces here that are broke. Don't glue it. JB Weld it for metal, wood, plastic, and more. JB Weld, world's strongest bond. Available at Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, and more. General Fun. All right, we got the static out of the lower end of the dial. On a le level that made Bernie Madoff... All right, here's the deal. The clock appears to be running, but the alarm hand is dangling down. These plastic studs that hold the screws at the top are busted out. The only thing holding it in, holding it together, are the two bottom screws and the two little screws on the receptacle. Maybe one day when I get industrious, I can devise a way to fix this. Today's not the day. So all this is going in a little baggie. And I guess either me or somebody will fix it one day, but... Do not identify. I don't feel like this is something that somebody would probably use. This would be something that if I were to list it for sale, somebody would buy it and it would sit in the, sit in the box for the next 50 years. You should see Linda's face right now, because my face is beat red. I hate very this nice broke idea. like this, but Thank that's just much. the nature of the beast. Um, when you're dealing with people, crappy you're plastic that's 50-plus years old and deformed and swollen up, then that kind of thing happens. I'm 29. I'll be 30 in August. Um, and uh, you're not married. Roger Goodell. He first became powerful in the NFL. It was... One which is reimagined banking by offering savings and checking accounts with So just because it's new old stock, that doesn't mean that uh it's gonna be smooth sailing. I mean getting the radio playing was easy. Just replace this cap and clean the volume pot and clean the tuning condenser and we're good to go but we got these little problems now but like I said I'm not dealing with that today I've got too much too many other things I need to do than to worry about this and I don't have any JB Weld on hand anyway so it's all going to get put in a bag and put in a box and that's that